Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Last week, there was a kernel update to a new kernel, 17. And Arch Linux skipped releasing 17, and they released 17.1. And when I installed kernel 17.1, it worked in all three computers. But one computer, when I booted into it, I was getting an error message. I was able to boot into it and get into my DWM desktop, but my audio wasn't working out of my speakers. Now, my audio was working in my Bluetooth, but not in my speakers, and I don't know why. And I tried rebooting, and I didn't fix it. Oh, and then when, when I rebooted, I'd get an error message while rebooting, and I'd have to press the power button and shut the computer down. So I solved the problem by installing the long-term support kernel, and everything was working fine. Now, I don't know why it was doing that. I don't know if when I downloaded kernel 17.1, if there was a problem in the download, or if there's something in kernel 17 that is not compatible with the old hardware that's in that computer, or if it's a bug that 17.1 was not compatible with that the old hardware in that computer, and if it was going to be fixed in a point release. So to make a long story short, uh, kernel 17.2 now has been released, and I'm going to test it out on camera. So, let's get to it. Now, uh, before I do that, let's just go to the website. So, kernel.org released kernel 6.17.2 on October the 12th, which was this past Sunday. And 6.17.1 wasn't working in one particular computer that I have. And you can see Arch Linux released 6.17.2 today. Let's just scan down. And it released it at 10 to 6, universal uh, coordinated time, which is right now it's four hours ahead of Toronto. So 10 to 6, it released it at 10 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Now I already downloaded this kernel and installed it in two air metal computers I have at home and everything worked fine. They rebooted into the new kernel. I have audio, everything is good. So now I'm going to try installing it in that one computer where I was having trouble with, with 6.17.1. And like I said, Arch Linux skipped releasing 6.17 and jumped right to 6.17.1. And that was the one that I had trouble with. Now, when I installed that kernel in my other computer and I had trouble with it, I wasn't able to record it. Number one, because it was at 5.30 in the morning and my wife was sleeping in the next room. Number two, I didn't have my capture card hooked up to that particular computer so I could record from it. But today, I've hooked up my capture card from that computer and I'm going to record downloading and installing this kernel and see if I can boot into it. So I'm going to go over to the other computer. So don't go away. I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm in my other computer. It's a real bare metal computer and I'm recording with my capture card. Because my microphone and my OBS studio and all my recording equipment is hooked up to my main production computer. And this computer is running Arch Linux with the DWM Window Manager, Dynamic Window Manager. And I'm going to open up a terminal. And let's type in FastFetch. So you can see I'm running Arch Linux. This computer is an Acer Expire 3400. Right now, it's running the long-term support kernel 61251-1 LTS, and it's been up for six days and two hours. And let's just close that. Let's clear the screen. Let's do an HTOP. And this computer is old computer. Uh, like I said, it's been up for six days, and it only has three processors, eight gigs of RAM, and no swap. Look at this. Even after six days of running, it's only using... Um, 473 megabytes of RAM out of the 8 gigs of RAM. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Sorry. So let's clear the screen. Let's clear the screen, and I'm going to do an update. I have an alias to do an update, and if you're using my Zesh configuration file, and you're running Arch Linux, you can do your updates like this too. You don't have to type in the whole command. All I have to do is type in the word update, put my password in, and we're going to do an update. And you can see... Uh, Firefox is being updated, plus some other things, and I have two kernels installed. So the stable kernel is being updated from 6.17.1 to 6.17.2. Let's see if uh, I can boot into the system without getting an error message. 
Let's see Valhav Audio, and let's see if I can reboot without having trouble. And of course, it's also installing the updated LTS kernel from 51 to 52. So if I have a problem logging into the system, I can just reboot into, or if I have to, pull the plug. <laughs> Hope not. And reboot into the long-term support kernel. Now this whole process I didn't show in that other video. I just talked about it because I had that problem off camera. So anyways, let's hit yes. And we're doing our update. And I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's time to reboot. So don't go away. I'll be back. Okay, so finished updating and let's reboot. Let's just clear the screen and let's reboot. And this time I'm going to capture everything on camera. <laughs> Sorry. It's my Acer. Oh, I'm going to use the arrows to stop it. I only had five seconds. I forgot to change that five seconds to 10 seconds. And I showed how to do it in my last video on the kernel that I did last week. And I had the problem with the kernel in this computer. I showed how to change the timer and I forgot to do it in this computer. So anyways, I only have five seconds, but I stopped it. And we're going to go into advanced settings. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to go down to the kernel, the stable kernel, 617.2. Because I don't want to go into the LTS kernel here. And I'm going to hit enter. And let's see if we get an error message while booting into the system. And let's see if we have audio and if the system is working. Oh, so far no error message. Now this computer is encrypted, so I have to put my encryption password in. And I don't remember if I got the error message before the encryption password or after the encryption password. And I don't know if this computer is going to be not compatible with the 617 series or if it was just 617.1. So I'm going to put my username in. And because I don't have a login manager running or a display manager, so just a login from the TTY, right? So we're going to put in uh, my password is, and I'm going to hit enter. So we can see I'm in the TTY and we can see. It booted into 617.2. So let's log in with StartX into DWM, Dynamic Window Manager. Here we are. And before I check the audio, let's just do an HTOP. And so like I said, this computer has uh, three processors, no swap, eight gigs of RAM. And look at this, we're running at 365 megabytes of RAM. 360 megabytes of RAM, not bad, eh? <laughs> Sorry, let's quit out of there. Okay, so let's close this and let's open up a web browser and see if we have audio and video for that matter. Um, I'm gonna open up Helium. I made a few videos recently in the past week on Helium. Look how fast it opens, eh? Let's close it again. Let's just open up again. I have a key binding for it. My key binding in DWM is Shift Alt H. Shift Alt H for Helium. Look how fast it opens. Oof. It's a great web browser. It's still in beta, by the way. And I, like I said, I made two videos on it. So please go ahead and watch them. Let's click on YouTube. So I have video, but no audio. There's nothing coming out of my speakers. Now I'm going to test to see if it works with my uh, Bluetooth. Of course, you're not going to be able to hear that. <laughs> so let's go to um, the workspace. Let's open up my Bluetooth and turn it on. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to hear this. Put my earbuds in. How about that? I have, uh, <laughs> well, you can't hear it, but I have audio in my earbuds. How about that? But not out of my speaker. Oh, I'm going to shut off my earbuds. How about that, eh? And this is what happened with 617.1. And I was hoping with 617.2 it would be fixed. So you see I have a video playing and let's just go into my uh, volume controls. So we can see here in the configuration, it says here no cards available for configuration. But I'm wondering why the Bluetooth works. Output devices shows dummy output. Playback shows uh, the playback is working, but nothing's coming out of my speakers. And this is what happened with 617.1. So let's close this. So I'm going to reboot and I'm going to reboot into the long-term support kernel, which was also updated today. Okay. So, and before I do that, I'm going to change the timer. I'm going to CD into Etsy default and do sudo vim. Well, let's just clear the screen. So I'm going to sudo vim into grub. Oh, I'm going to put my password in and I'm going to change this five to a 10, 10 seconds. So I have more time. And then when you change that, you have to make grub. Now I have an alias to make grub and it's MK. 
grub and if you're using my zest configuration file you can just type in mk grub and it will make grub so when you make a change in that file you always have to make grub afterwards and let's reboot and let's see if it jams up see now that's what happened before but i didn't have my camera rolling i can't reboot out of this um kernel how about that eh now when i made the video about my problem with the 6.17 kernel in this computer when i made my last video about it somebody commented underneath the video and said perhaps it's just hanging and maybe you just have to wait a minute or two before it finishes rebooting so i don't know if i should wait <laughs> i'm gonna wait a minute but i'll cut that part out of the video i'm not gonna make you sit here and wait a minute while watching it so it's been hanging for a minute and a half now and it's not continuing to reboot so let's see if uh, resub works Alt S R is it working? Hmm. Alt S E. Alt S I. Hmm. Alt S S. Alt System S. Hmm. U E. Oh, it worked. The resub worked. <laughs> and it's rebooting. And it's my Acer. Now I have ten seconds to make up my mind. So let's uh. Use my arrows to pause it. Let's go into advanced settings. And we're going to go back into the LTS kernel. The new updated LTS kernel. And let's see if I have audio. It's encrypted, so I have to put my password in. Now, the last time when this happened, and I wasn't recording it, because my capture card wasn't hooked up to this computer, and it was at 5.30 in the morning, and my wife was sleeping. But the last time when it happened, I tried resub, and resub wasn't working. But after the fact, and even after I made the video about it, I realized I didn't have resub programmed into this computer. <laughs> so I programmed it in, and as you can see, resub to work. I didn't have to unplug the computer or push the power button. And you can see here, we are in 6.1252-1 LTS, the long-term support kernel. We're going to type in start X, and we're going to boot into DWM. And we're in DWM. Let's just open up a terminal. Let's make that a little larger. Let's do an HTOP now, and we can see out of my 8 gigs of RAM, we're running at 370 megabytes. Not bad, eh? <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. And let's quit out of there. Let's close that. So Shift-Alt-H is going to open up my Helium web browser. And I'm going to go to YouTube. And we have audio. Most of the activity on the internet is no longer human activity. Most of it is automated. We've known this for a while now. There is this theory out there. So we have sound. Now, of course, the sound probably sounded really lousy because uh, I'm recording with a capture card from one computer into the other computer, and my capture card doesn't record audio. So the audio was coming through the speakers and into my microphone. So that's why the audio didn't sound that great. But we have audio out of my speakers. And if I go into Pavu Control, you can see... When we went into configuration before, when we were hooked up to the stable kernel, instead of saying built analog stereo duplex, it was saying dummy, dummy audio, instead of saying built in audio. And this menu was, was a dead menu. Look at it now. And then in, in output devices, this was dead. And the playback was showing that it was okay. So I'm just going to close that. So the audio is working. So there's something wrong. Um, this computer is a really old computer. And for some reason, my sound card or something is not working with the 6.17 kernel series. And that's it. In this video, I wanted to test live on camera to see if the updated point release of the stable kernel was going to work in that computer where I was having uh, audio trouble. And I was hoping that it would be fixed with the point 0.2 release. So uh, today, 6.17.2 was released in Arch Linux. And on camera, I downloaded it. I installed it. I showed that I was able to log in to the system without any error messages. But my audio was not working. But it was working in my uh, earbuds. And then I showed how when I go to reboot, it gets stuck. And I let it sit for a minute and a half because it was hanging and it still didn't work. And I used my resub to force the computer to reboot. I rebooted into the long-term support kernel, which also 
was updated today and it works with my audio. And I also explained to you when I had my problem last week, the reason why I had to uh, push the power button is because resub wasn't installed in this computer and I didn't realize it. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I have a feeling like this computer was built. Well, actually, I'm in my main production computer right now. But that computer that we were in was built in 2009. Anyways, if you have some suggestions, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.